and see what we got. Hey, what's up, everybody? Brad here, and I got Tyler on a call with me. Everybody say hi to Tyler. Hello. <laughs> he, uh, he is our website genius, helping us with the, the, new, um, the new website. So to start this off first, what is going to be happening is um, this is our homepage right now because we're trying to make it nice and simple for you guys while our website is getting built. If you do click on the home button, then you will be able to go to the normal site. So if you click on that, it'll bring you back to our normal site. You can browse around, do whatever you need to do. Now, uh, you have to make an account before you can purchase a pass. So if you don't have an account, make sure you make an account if you're going to buy a pass so then you don't have to sit there and wait and, you know, possibly miss getting a pass because it took you, you know, two, two extra minutes. Um, so when when you do log in, passes are not on sale yet. So it's going to say right here instead of buy team pass, it's going to say um, that the passes will go on sale at seven o'clock. And then once seven o'clock hits, this is how it's going to look. And you're going to be able to click the, the buy now button. And once you do that and you complete all the payment and everything, um, you know, give me uh, up to 24 hours, I would say, and you'll then get access. You'll get an email sent to you and you'll get access to. Uh, the actual team builder and then you'll be able to invite people and everything like that so so once you have access it'll look like this and you'll be able to have um, you know create be able to create your team I guess so you know you can name your team whatever you want so name it um, whoever bought the pass you can basically pick you know if you're the player or your coach so I'm gonna say I'm a player and I'm gonna create the team so it, uh, it's that simple and now it's going to say that I'm player one right here, and then I can invite three other players and a coach. Oh, hang on, i got to figure out who I'm inviting. I'll invite Tyler. Oh, okay. So the first player is going to be Tyler. And then I'm going to just hit the plus button, and it's going to send him an invite. So there you go, pending an invite. And then I, can't, I can't show you guys how it looks on my screen, but there's a little uh, word on the home page when you're not on a team. It says pending invites. And when you get an invite, if you're not on a team, it'll show you the team name, your role. Like So if, if you're inviting someone to be a player, then it'll say you're invited as a player. But if you're inviting someone as a coach, it'll, it'll tell them that they're invited as a coach. It'll show you the date, and then you can either accept or decline it. And I, I just accepted it. I, I can. Um, I guess we can do this, and then I can pry back out and, yeah, have, and I you, can, yeah. have you show me a... Uh, so here, I'm just going to invite a few people really quick. What's up? No, I'm just thinking that the red is behind you. That looks good. Yeah, the red does look cool, right? Do you want the banner in here? Where is it? It's at Brent's house. I don't have it. <laughs> Dad likes to always just walk behind the camera whenever I'm, I'm doing stuff. That's what he. That's what he enjoys doing. Yeah, Yoda photo bombs me as well. So. Now I'm gonna refresh this page, and they're gonna, they're all added. So it's not pending now. They are all added, and if I want to kick somebody, I can I can kick them. It's gonna pop a box up, and it's gonna say, you know, are you sure you want to remove them from the team? And I can you know either say yes or cancel. And um, Tyler, tell them what's gonna happen. Like once their whole team is submitted, uh, what else is that gonna do? I guess. Oh, you mean for like the stats that I was going over with you? Yeah, like the stats and like the team, the team page or like the team list and everything like that. Um, so there's gonna be like our right now we're we're on this on the side like this isn't the main website it's just the team builder and we're developing a whole new website and a pretty comprehensive stat system and this is gonna link in directly with our stat system so when you go to the event and compete, uh, whoever's there putting in the scores they're gonna be able to go onto our stat system. And choose your team directly, and you'll automatically be put into our like your stats will be recorded. Um, your point, you basically, I think you guys have all heard about the live rank. I don't want to go into that because you probably heard about it. But the the stats you have in our database, all of that will get added together to decide what your live rank is, to decide what your like objective rank is, uh, slayer support. I think those are the three, 
and those all get put together, and then your rankings at the events will also determine how many points your team has. And say you switch teams, so say you're on this team, Bonafide, and you go to Nashville, and you get first place, and you get however many points, so you get 1,000 points. Then when you go to the next event, say you're on, I don't know, some other team, um, like just some team called AGL, it uh, the server will pull up your previous points, and it'll show on your like player card and everything the amount of points you got at each event. So it's it's basically all linked together, and everything you do is going to get tracked, and it'll stay in the database, and you can check out any of your stats whenever you want. And uh, it's pretty. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, and then it's also going to take. So like as you invite people on here, it's going to take how many points like your total team has, and then it's going to generate an automatic team list and automatically seed every single team so you guys will be able to see uh, who's seated what full team list and everything like that as people are adding or, or removing people from their teams so that I don't have to sit here and update stuff and not have it updated for a million years for you guys so uh, everything's going to be automated so that you guys can basically see stuff on the fly now um, now one question that I have Tyler are they able to change their team name um, that's because I don't see an option for that do you would you like would you guys want an option for that? I you, would because be? people like to change their team. Name. Yeah, yeah, I can. I'll make it so you can change your team so, name. Right now you can't change it, but he'll get that in there. In and the then it'll be days. locked before the. How many days? How many days did you guys lock it before? Like three days before um, the event. Really, as long as it's just the day before, we're, we're pretty much good. Okay, so we'll, you'll the teams. I guess the day before the event or whenever we decide it's good, we'll get locked, and you won't be able to change anything. You won't be able to remove anyone. You won't be able to add anyone. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about if someone ha doesn't have a full roster because the way our stat system work is, um, or the way the stat system works is when we go to pick teams and like... Well, we would just have to add them at the door. We would have yeah. to make them make an account at the door. So like if but you're not... not yeah, like, you know, it definitely makes it a million times easier if everything is submitted before the event, but if there is a last minute change or something, uh, you will have to invite them at the event. They'll have to make an account if they don't have one and you guys will have to invite them at the event um, so that we can have your full roster and everything like that otherwise it won't work with the stats so definitely make sure you get your rosters locked in and don't have any of that last minute stuff um, alright so now I deleted everybody from there um, okay let me uh, uh, make a team and invite you yeah a sec. okay try refreshing your page you shouldn't have that anymore um, actually no you might have that still Hold on. yeah it is do what you're doing. So now Tyler is going to make a team. He's going to invite me, so we'll show you what comes up when you do get an invite, and it'll show if you like how you can accept or decline it. Okay, now refresh. All right, refresh the screen. All right, so so right here, I'm back to here. You know, I can either buy a pass, or um, it'll show me what if I have any invites or anything pending. So okay. Once he sends me the invite, uh, what's the username? AGL. Uh, AGL underscore? Space Brad. Oh, okay. Yes, and you uh, can okay. use spaces in your names. You don't have to use an underscore, so that's kind of cool. All right, refresh. All right, so yeah. I refresh the screen, and now I've got an invite. So team name AGL. I'm um, being invited as a player. And then it shows the date that it was sent, so I could accept or decline it, and I'll accept it. And then it's going to show who's on my team. And now I do not have the option to kick anybody from the team because I'm not the one who bought the pass. So, um, you know, I can basically just see who's on my team, what my team name is, and then I can leave the team if I want to. So, you know, pretty simple team builder. Just kind of makes it easier and more automated uh, in every way, shape, and form. So, do you guys have any questions on how to use that at all? If you do, type it in the chat and we can answer it. Otherwise, it's, um, I don't know, I think it's pretty simple. Uh, yeah. Uh, I want to respond to what Ninja, or I think it's Ninja RTV said. The New Jersey section of it, you guys are going to get access to it. Uh, I, we had to throw this together pretty quickly, so I was only able to put in the Nashville side of the team builder. But tonight, I'm going to hopefully have it done tonight or tomorrow. And people who bought New Jersey team passes are going to get emailed. Um, and you have to, you have to go on to this website, make an account. Obviously, you won't be do you won't be able to, you won't be able to do anything unless you bought a Nashville. Then you can manage Nashville. But for New Jersey, just make sure you have an account, and then Brad's going to email you, figure out what your username is, and then once we know your username, we can go into the the database and make sure you have access to make a team for New Jersey. 
So New Jersey isn't up yet. Don't freak out just because you don't see it. It'll be up there tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, so right now this is just going to be for New Jersey and then in the next day or two if you do have a pass, or wow, I meant Nashville. This is going to be active for Nashville and everything when passes go on sale in 45 minutes. And then if you do have a pass for New Jersey, it will uh, be active in the next couple of days and you'll get an email from me and then I will give you access to the team builder so everybody can get their teams built and everything for New Jersey and you'll be able to, you know, do that so that you'll, your stats will all automatically be recorded and everything. So that's pretty much the basis of that. Yeah. The website's pretty cool too. You guys should look forward to it. Yes. The website, um, I actually, I don't even know how to, I can't even explain anything. My little cool logo up here at the top, this little shield, I don't know. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> so we're going for like a really clean, basic basic look for yeah. a website, uh, not making it com complicated at all. You know, we want you guys to be able to find all the content that you need to find without asking me a million questions. So uh, right now, hopefully by Monday, we'll have kind of a little preview of the website posted. Um, it'll actually be like the stream page for, uh, for New Jersey. And then uh, so then you'll have access to looking at the team list and everything like that. And then by... I want to say Thursday, Friday, we should ha be able to have the, the whole new site ready to go for you guys. And then you guys will be able to see the whole stats system. You'll be able to see the standings, player cards, everything. So look forward to that this week. And that's it on um, you know, using the team builder. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, passes will go on sale in like 45 minutes. So make sure you make your account and be ready to um, buy, those pa buy the passes. If you did miss anything, um, I'll put this up on YouTube if anybody has any questions or anything you can you can check out the video on there too but that's as simple as that is so did you want to tell them about what's going on with the Chicago stats really quick um well the Chicago stats everybody who you know keeps bugging me about that uh, I'm waiting for them to to get to me so I don't really have control over that and once they get to me it will be in the system so we should have them by the time the site goes live next week so that all your stats will be there and then if you have a if you were at Chicago once the stats are live you need to just make sure we're gonna I'll post a link um, somewhere so that you guys can basically contact us and we can link your account to the Chicago stats because we, we oh, have yeah. to make sure we have to make sure that your username matches the username that we had for Chicago um, otherwise it won't automatically sync up so and if you guys, uh, your username has to be exactly the same because when those stats go into the database, uh, if you try to find your old stats, you, if you have the same username as the stats that were there, then they'll show up on your thing. If they don't, then you won't. And if someone goes and makes, if someone's a douchebag and makes your username before you can, just contact us, contact me, or I don't know if you can contact me, but contact Brad, and we'll just delete whoever made a fake version of your account, and then we'll get that set up for you. Yeah, yeah, and that's the other thing is whatever account you make, don't plan on changing it because if you change it, all of your stats are going to be lost. We're not going to sit there and relink them to brand new accounts because you decided you want it to be Slayer 154 instead of Slayer 279. So, um, you know, whatever account you make, that's going to be, you know, your name so that all the stats and everything stay, stay together. Uh, other than that... Um, Oh, one real quick update for everybody else. We did film our first setup video uh, on Brent, so that's going to be getting thrown together in the next week as well. So maybe it'll be released before New Jersey, otherwise after New Jersey, so you guys can look for our first setup video. Um, other than that, I just took over my sister's room, and I got a cool filming studio room, which is why there's red behind me now. So I have like this huge open room to set a bunch of cameras up in and build like a an actual uh, set for the show and everything. So that's going to be a cool little update. Other than that, see you guys next week in New Jersey. Look for these updates this week. And thank you for watching. Peace.